What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, Rob and Melanie are continuing our playthrough through Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon by Awaken Realms. And we're continuing on with Chapter 11, I believe. This is Episode 13. If you haven't already seen our previous episodes, go back and watch those. They're in a playlist at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. You can watch all the episodes in order. Binge them to get to this point. Find out what's going on in our story. But, spoiler warning, of course, there are story spoilers as we move on through Chapter 11 here. Um... And we're going to continue on from where we were in the last episode. If you want to find out where we were, go back. I recommend checking out those last few minutes, but I'll give you a quick brief overview here. We basically, Orin killed himself to make us a, like, portable men here. There's some rules, ambiguity about how this men here portable thing works, but we're going to kind of rule it the way we rule it. And we'll go with it, and we'll discuss that in a second here. But thank you to our Patreon backers for backing us. Uh, through the link in the description below if you'd like to become a Patreon backer and donate to the channel to help us grow and support us here and keep us going and doing this. Uh, you can do that also. Link down below, like I said. Also, if you don't like the Patreon, PayPal link is down below also. And if you'd like to follow us on social media so you don't miss our episodes uh, or when we go live and do live plays, make sure you follow us down there. Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff's down in the description below. And make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you do not miss when we go live. Our live streams lately have been super fun, having a good time with everybody. So if you want to join us live, go do that. But either way, thank you to everyone for leaving comments also on previous videos to help us correct rules, answer questions, help people watching these videos in the future, using timestamps, awesome stuff. Thank you so much, everyone following along. All right, let's get down to it. Okay, so we have a couple men here going. This one is on one left. This red die here is telling us this men here is about to go out. Uh, this one up here in Serene Visage is at five. This one down here is, I believe, Underwall. Yep, Underwall. Uh, so we're starting with Chapter 11. Uh, so last uh, was discard all the event cards. Uh, and we got this little secret card, 15. And I was kind of reading it between episodes as we were just setting up the board today. Hopefully everything is set up as where it was last episode. But we did actually clean up the game, put it all away, and then bring it back out. So, yeah, we hope everything's all right. One correction from a previous episode. Uh, so, episode 12, I just believe, went up a few, uh, like an hour ago. Um, so, if we haven't read your comments from that episode yet. So, we may have some goof-ups here that are going forward from the last episode. And I didn't see any comments yet in the first hour or so after posting it. But, um, episode 11 had pointed out that uh or i caught it actually i caught it in episode 12 editing mm. that i was a dumbass and i dropped uh, an experience uh while i was reading through the book i put an experience down not really looking dropped into my magic and then i wasn't even supposed to gain that experience we corrected it i looked down and went oh i don't have the experience i must have not taken it but it was sitting in the magic slot so before starting today i moved i had four magic at the last end of the last episode i just removed it so we ha i have three so I, I should be even out there uh yeah i don't know what i was doing but uh, yeah, <laughs> anyways, uh, but thank you for pointing out stuff in videos. Take no offense. It helps us correct our stuff going forward. Also helps people watching these. Awesome. Thank you. I love playing this along with you guys. Um, but the crewed men here. So we got this at the end. Secret card 15. Whenever you travel, pay one additional energy. Okay. I'm assuming we both have this as a group because secret card 14, which we had before this, I believe it was. Secret card 14. We tossed it away, the pure weird stone that we were dragging together. Yep. We had to be together for that. And this one just says... Gain it, it said in the book of secrets just gain 15 and we had to be reading that as a party I believe having all characters yes, there. Yes, we did. So it's like I think we both gain this item And it says whenever you travel pay one additional energy and Then it says uh, an action on it for zero energy pay one magic per player So that's not per party member. It's not Whatever characters on the location is per player so I'm assuming that we both have this generally, and it's just we're carrying it together. It's made from that big chunk of weird stone we were dragging along. Mm -hmm. So again, another rules like uncertainty, and I did Google it and found a Board Game Geek post that has not been answered by the developer where somebody was asking about Chapter 11 and the crude men here. So I just Googled Chapter 11, crude, or Chapter, I searched like Chapter 10, didn't find it. Uh, but then I found crude men here, and then some guy was asking about the start of Chapter 11, he's holding this item. And he basically asked some good questions. Uh, he didn't ask about us using it together, but I'm assuming... He might have been playing solo? Yeah, maybe. But he didn't ask about what I just thought of was the whole per player. So, like, I think we're carrying this both as a group. Do we have to stay together? That I don't know. That I'm not sure. This card doesn't... So it says pay one magic per player. 
attach a matching location card to your location. This card does not have to be an active men here range. So this is obviously like a portable men here we're carrying around and it's one additional energy per travel. So can somebody take this on their own? And then it says like pay one magic per player, not per party member. So it's like, if I'm over here with it and you're like way over here, do you have to like, I have to pay two magic to like extend it. But then, then it gets into weird situations where it was asked in that forum post where it's, uh, if what happens at the start of day, when it specifically says in the start of day, remove expired men here's and discard locations that are out of men here range. This is a men here, but like its range is what? I'm assuming, like if you just think of lore and the, the rules as intended and how you would think it would work with the theme, we're carrying this thing around. It's heavy, that's why it takes additional energy. So I assume we both have to be together dragging this thing still if we wanna use it. We both have it, so I don't know if one player takes it or one another player takes it. I don't know if it matters. This is like, I'm not sure. I don't know what to do here, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. But uh, leave comments down below. Let us know what you guys think. But we're just going to play through the chapter with how we want to play it. I don't know if we'll lose it at the end of this chapter and it won't matter after this. Or if we have this till the end of the game, who knows. But if you guys have thoughts on this, let us know what you guys did in your game, how you interpreted it, if there's some answers somewhere on the internet you found uh but i don't have time to reach out to developers today i know they will not get back to me for a few days and we want to play this episode before mel gets back to work so we're just going to go with it and treat it as we're carrying it around uh it keeps the location active that we're on so it will not get removed because it won't be out of range of an active men here uh also when all the active men here's are gone i would feel that this one keeps us from hurting for two health, two terror until we relight a men here. I would that's what I would say. Because on here it doesn't explain what happens for that that weird situation when all the men here go out and you remove the last one and you leave the locations where they are. What happens if we're like wandering around with this thing and we're like way over here? These stay here. Do we have like I would say we don't get hurt because we're like protected from the weirdness. That's yeah. what this is doing, right? Yeah. So thematically, I think we're safe from that as long as we're together on the same spot. But like that's why I wish I knew. Do we have to be together carrying this thing? Well, I feel like like if we it makes sense. if we travel as a party, if we stay together the whole time with this, and we travel as a party, it just says pay one additional energy. That doesn't say per player. Right. So, like, do we spend two to travel, one each, plus one more, so it's only three? Yes, that's what I would assume. That's what I would, too, but it's, this is not clear. This, these rules are, like, again, another weird, like, this should have an additional section in the book. Like, it, in the Book of Secrets, even, that describes how this thing works. Like that Hunted did. Yep. Like the Hunted did, like Tuathane did. Like, this needs more rules. And to see that somebody asked questions that I didn't even think of was crazy, and I have questions that that guy didn't ask in Board Game Geek. So, again... Let us know in the comments below what you guys think, but we are just ruling it as we're carrying this thing together. We'll probably stay together just to avoid like weird situations. Yeah. We'll carry this thing around. It will cost us three to travel as a party. Then we'll pay two magic, one per player, and we'll, we'll stay together so that we can just wander around. So my understanding is if we were, say, here on Moonring, we could spend the two magic to end three energy to travel out of the men here range to go to whatever 134 is next, right? Right? Well, you, yeah, but you, no. So say that one more time, start again. So if we were standing on Moon Ring yeah. and we wanted to use the ability of this card, we would pay two magic, one per player, to attach a matching location card to your location. Then to travel to said location, because it doesn't have to be a menu range. So this yeah. is us using the ability. So let's say we got 134 attached over here. So it's one away. It's out of range, right? Mm -hmm. Then to move on to it, it would cost us uh, three energy, right? Yep. Two, two to travel as a party, let's say, and one additional because we're carrying this stupid, heavy, uh, portable uh, Game Boy Pocket menu here. here. Uh, and then uh, while we're on that location, this menu here burns out, let's say. Yes. So, and then let's say this one was still here. Obviously, Moon Ring would disappear because mm -hmm. this would be the only men here. That's out of range. But we're standing out here floating in the abyss. Yep. Which I think is fine. I think that's fine, yeah. And we're just protected on the location we're on. That makes sense. But to get back, to get Moon Ring back, mm -hmm. we would have to use the ability again yeah. to get back onto the, the island like of main cards. If there's any. Yeah. 
I, I don't know if there's rules about if you get detached. I think you're fine. I think that happens. I feel like I've read it somewhere in the rules. I did kind of glance through the rules today before starting, but I didn't. it didn't pop out. But I know it's in there. I'm pretty sure it's in the FAQ or unofficial FAQ of what happens when you get separated. But I think you're fine. And this thing's going to protect us because it's a men here. I'm going to say we do not get hurt if we're on a location with this thing. We are protected from if all the men here's burn out, these men here's. This is a men here. So it's protecting us from getting hurt with the two thing and whatever until we get another men here lit. Yeah. That's how I'm going to rule it. So we could be at a point where there's a last men here went out and it's like just a bunch of this and a bunch of locations around it still. And we're like wandering way out wherever. It could happen. That's how okay. I'm going to rule. That's how it would work. That seems like how a portable men here would work to me. And that's how we're going to de deal with the rules. But I wish there was an official like, here's what happens if the, a regular men here goes out. You're, this men here protects you from this and does this. How does it interact with these rules? It is I'm sure an FAQ entry will come out eventually for this card alone, but yeah. it's spoiler filled, right? Because you're then talking about it, but it's kind of scary though because we don't know if we're ever going to lose it, and we could just be floating in the middle of nowhere and have to try to find them in here. That's too. the thing. That's the thing. I don't know. I'm not reading ahead to find out, so this could totally tank us the way we're going to treat this thing. But yeah. hopefully, like we can stay out I of. I think those... we can light in here's on the way if we see them. Yep. And, and specific it, ones true and we could keep it so like uh we just stay like try to get like obviously they gave it to us because we're going to need to go out of range of them in here yeah because we know some locations were destroyed from the game and replaced with other locations like sunken mounds which we know no longer has them in here and it used to have them in here so well, just... we can't go at all this way yeah so that's what i'm saying if we want to go that way if we need to i have a feeling there's going to be a reason to do it and then maybe come back or yeah. something like it's not gonna i don't know unless it takes it away from us on a spot where it knows we have a men here like it'll it'll oh, force yeah. us in the story like if this location has a men here discard this and now we're stuck at that place with the men here or it'll say give us this back light a men here here yeah i have a hopefully it's that way hopefully we're not about to break the game again and have to stop for a couple weeks while we wait for the developers to respond to us and, and fix the game uh and add another faq entry but uh we'll see all right so this is i, I know some of you guys who are watching along are ahead of us by a few chapters i'm curious how you guys dealt with it just let us know below but don't spoil if we lose it or anything. yeah yeah don't, don't, don't spoil yet. that if it goes away just like how did you rule it in chapter 11 how this worked like how did you deal with this and what happened in your playthrough because maybe you guys totally went different ways and didn't even need to use it or maybe you have to always use it but you can go wherever because it gives you lots of freedom but yeah. you need the resources to do it so we'll see yeah, we gotta find that magic anyways <laughs> enough of this crude men here thing hopefully it doesn't it's, it's crude obviously because it's gonna like mess with our playthrough and our rules and stuff that's why it's crude but uh we're gonna do chapter 11 so for oh, oh. we're actually changing the encounter whoops i didn't read it. right side right side Prepare the event deck. Find all parts of chapter 11 and stack them from two bottom one to top. I already did that. Pre-video here. Uh, now, follow the instructions on the back of this card. That's why I had it flipped because I was like, man, that's nothing. All right. So for two to four players, we're actually going to need to modify those decks and take out all the level two. So it's only three and fours now. So we lose all the nice level two stuff, which was kind of easy at this point, we felt. Um, maybe not really easy, but. So the game is about to get difficult. Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I think. And then we place the Mulch Man Green Encounter in the lowest number revealed location. These are twos. Okay, I'll find that one. Yeah, find that while you're in there. Mulch Man. Mulch Man. Mulch Man, level four? I don't know. Uh, it just says Green Encounter, Mulch Man. Okay, well, there's only one that I saw, but I'll double check here. No, that's fine. Nope, nope. That's Guardian. Great. Yep. Uh, just to let you know, all those traveling merchants are all gone. going away. Oh, no. That's good. These all have to be so shuffled. So, no but... hunting for food? No. We'll just uh, stay away from green encounters <laughs> for the rest of the game then? <laughs> Damn. All the easy guys. These are gray. He's going to give me purple, right? Mm -hmm. So now the encounter decks are back to being bigger. The spare encounter cards on the side of the game that are not we're playing with right now are now bigger than the ones we're playing with. So it's like slowly started from small decks we're playing with, the bigger decks we're playing with, and now back to small ones. Boom. These are out of the, out of the game for now. 
I don't think we'll see level ones and twos again for the rest of this game. I have a feeling. Yeah. Uh. And Sarjat Seraf, your comments about the game forcing you to lose all your items, leaving to a thing. <laughs> yes, I feel your frustration. Totally understand. Yeah, that's super frustrating. It drove me nuts. But look, look, I'm equipped again. I feel You're like I'm all right. Building back. Yeah, it was a, a few nights, sleepless nights, just wanting to throw the game in the garbage after I lost all my items. But <laughs> I held off and, and fought off the darkness and the weirdness and did not do that. So, <laughs> all right. So we're going to use our little... Uh, oh, we still have some good ones. In <laughs> blue. Okay. Dipl diplomatic uh, encounters. But it's just the... You're safe from doing one. You don't get items or anything. Which no, sucks. nothing good. That's what I love in games. I love loading up on items and finding secret weapons and relics. All right. So Mulch Man, those who are curious, he is going on the lowest number revealed location. I see a 111, 112. All right. 111's right here. So 111. Uh, oh, yes. I missed one. Sorry. I'm double checking Whoa, this before I shuffle. To no, no, no. Here. You're trying to leave some level twos in there. Double checking before I shuffle them all, but could have kept quiet. We could have got away with it. No one would ever point that out in the comments <laughs> until it popped up. And like, hey, yeah, yeah. wait a minute. Like, you guys are cheaters. All right. So mulch man, level four, eighteen is his value. Some druids went as far to create a life of their own. Two practicality, one on the free key. Magic's possible for the connection. He's guardian. He'll hang around. He's defensive, so it. The first uh, one of the red cubes on the first card you play return gets kind of blocked. Shatter if you choose to bring weapons in. And now we know at the start of every encounter, after we set it all up, we can choose whether we bring certain weapons and items into a battle or not, into an encounter. So you can protect them from shatter. Mm -hmm. So it's very nice. Uh, and yeah, it just does a bunch of damage, gains a little bit of terror, makes you lose some cubes. Never runs away though. So you can just kind of go head to head. But he's 18, and look at that. He's if terrible. 15 to 17, he's doing 5 damage. If you try to run away, uh, you will spend an energy to run away and an additional one, and he tears a blast card. Rewards, 2 experience, loot, 2 magic. You think you get something bigger for a guy that big? Yeah. Well, at least he's very far from us. So, so I'm going to put a little blue cube on him to remind us that he is the blue pawn. If we get another guardian, we have other colored pawns, thanks to Pandemic Legacy leaving a bunch of components for us after we ripped up all the paper for that game mm -hmm. and started it, put it in the fire. Uh, okay. Uh, and you are now ready to start chapter 11, The Fall of Avalon. Discard this card and reveal the top card of the event deck. Okay. Okay, let's throw this up here. Chapter 11, part one. Whew. All right, place this card in the active quest pile. So it is 11.1, .1, the broken world quest card. Mm -hmm. uh, place this card in the active quest pile. Once again, all the paths of a broken world open before you. The question is, where do you want to go? The journey, uh, the journeyed out, or so, oh, I'll just read it here. <laughs> Too hard on the TV, like I can't keep it still. Uh, you journeyed out to help Kanat, uh, but you shouldn't. You journeyed out to help Kanat, but shouldn't the realm or your faithful allies come first? With the winds of weirdness ravaging the island, there is no way you can get everywhere in time. So it's saying complete one of the following. We have to choose here. This is a, obviously probably, I'm assuming, branching story path here. Help Broken Kunat at 121. Help Besieged Camelot 195. Or help your ally, Farshire, Timberwall, or Crow's Nest. So we know Farshire is out here. Timberwall's Timberwall right out. here. Or uh, Crow's Nest, I believe, is up here somewhere. Yeah, it's the top, isn't it? I believe so, yes. Uh, Kunat somewhere, so the lake is around here, so Kunat's like here-ish. Uh, so it's like a little bit to the east and down, I believe. Because I believe this is part of our starting six. So I believe down here is the Warrior's Fair, maybe below it, and then over is Kunat. Maybe Kunat's like right here, or here, or here, somewhere in this area. Anyways, uh, or Camelot, we know, is like other side of the yeah. water is like Titan Steps and it's like up here somewhere. And for fun, you can always look at the map. Let's see where we, where we are. So Moon Ring and Serene Visage, boom, right here beside each other. So Camelot's literally like down a row probably and far over to the right. Mm -hmm. um, but remember, a bunch of locations changed. Might not have men here and stuff. So like if we want to go to Camelot, I'm assuming is, is the most used probably of that crude men here. And Kunat too. 
And like since our travel is so restricted. It's going to take a while. Yeah, but here's the thing. This is what I would think. If I was a game developer and I'm writing this story. Tell us. It seems too easy mode that it knows it gave us this here. Maybe it gives us this at another location. Maybe there's a way we could have went and did something different. But I feel like we had to do a, our fetch quest, get back to Orin, which we knew was here. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could meet him anywhere else. No. So Timberwall being right here, I'm probably going to bet that's one of the harder things to do. Or you have to do something at all three. Oh, but it says Farshire, Timberwall, or Crow's Nest. But I have a feeling maybe these ones involve a, a fetch quest again. Like you go to Timberwall, but it's not as easy as just going to Timberwall and you complete this part of the quest, go on to the next part two or complete the chapter or whatever. I have a feeling it's you go here and then it's like, oh, cool. Welcome to Timberwall. To help us, you need to go 16 locations this way, get something for us and come back to here to help us. Or like you say, maybe it's go to Timberwall and then you have to also go to Farshire to help something or you're chasing your ally around at one of these locations you're trying to find them and help them yeah like maybe you go to one of those and then it tells you to do something at each one or i don't know but part of me uh other than this this guardian being in the way down here <laughs> part of me wants to go to kunat okay help broken kunat i think it's kind of cool going back to our homeland it's not too far away but again that extra energy of movement hopefully they put some random events in here and beautiful weather and Oh, yeah, that Great weather is helpful, but either way. So that's what we're choosing. So we need to discuss, like, or do we go to Camelot and see what's up over there? But that is, like, moving this way somewhere. I mean, it's probably actually closer than uh, going to Kunat. But we just have to complete one. And they tell us where to go, which is kind of nice. Or we can go to Timberwall for fun and check it out. Because we have a five left on this men here. We can kind of chill in the area. Yeah. But again, I'm, I, I don't know if... Timberwall is like, maybe we've locked ourselves out. Because remember it did say some of these uh, places in the West, we may have locked ourselves out from doing things there based on something we've done in the past. True. All right, so play special event G uh, on top of the event deck. So special event G, which I'm not sure if we've had before. Uh, and then we are going to put 8 minus 1 per player random events on top of the event deck. Eight minus one per player, so we're going to put six of these guys. Whoops. Drop it. Let me just uh, shuffle these a little better. So that's pretty good. We're going to put six on there, which is, I think, more than usual. That's good, because I feel like it's going to take us more days than usual to get through the map one, with one, two, spending three, extra. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. So that's our active quest. Okay. So what do you want to do? Go to Broken, Broken Kunat, help them, or besiege Camelot, or try Farshar, Timberwall, or Crow's Nest? I mean, and I'm Crow's tempted. Nest, Crow's Nest, I think, because I don't see a way to go to east here, we have to still go down, up, and maybe... Oh, yes. Oh, but this... No, this won't be revealed unless we go to Moon. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. There's also the Valley of the Guardians right to our west there, which we could mess with, but I, I think we're not going to do that, so yeah. I mean, Timberwall seems exciting because it is that close, and maybe maybe it might be something that's <laughs> Maybe we can easy. finish this video in under an hour. No, 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 I don't think it'll be that easy, <laughs> but maybe it's easier, and because we have some time in this area before this min here goes dark, uh, we can also try to bank some magic. Because if we have to spend two per player right now, we're not getting very far. We only far. have to spend two per player to just light a, a location. Right. But, yes. but going down here, this is going out very, very soon. This yes, is only at one. True. So anything down here, we'll be spending two magic, two magic, true. two magic. Okay. So I don't know. But either way, I think we're at end our day point. Yes, we are. You're sitting at one energy. I'm at two. Yeah. I'm good to just end. So eat a food. Yep. So I'm gonna spend this purple and take back four. Yep. I'm doing the same. One, two, three, four. Uh, so lose a terror, gain a health. I don't need, and lose I'll go up to full energy. Okay. And then I go to restore to four or restore four. One, two, three, four. So I'm at five. All right. Okay. Uh, then end of day. Uh, so we've done that. Any dreams on where we're at? I don't think so. Nope. nope. Okay. Good. Uh, experience if we want. We're both at three. You can buy a card. You can save up for something. I yep. debate a combat card. I know. I love those combat cards. But I think I'm going to wait right now and see what okay. the future has here for us. Okay. 
uh, and then we go dream start of day. Uh, so first thing is uh, remove locations, expired menus. Then we reduce time dials. So this one's gone. This one's going to four. Uh, Whoops. Doing the grail side, right? So then the dial fitting. Okay, and then uh, we reveal the next event card. Dense Mists. Uh, it's mm, not protected no. by a venture's kit. Each exploration in locations without a settlement costs one additional energy. Well, Timberwall is a settlement, so that's fine. No, that's good. Okay. Just don't explore outside of settlements, so we're fine, make... which we're basically just trying to get to a settlement. So, I mean, we could explore along the way, but like... Well, I don't know that we'll have the energy to Yeah, waste. it's like I don't want to get tied up into things. I just want to get to our place. But, uh, okay. So that sucks. Oh, I wonder... I just have one quick question. For my elbow grease here, it says whenever you... Whenever you pay the cost of activating a min here, you may pay with energy instead of magic. Do you think that would work for this? Pay a magic once per player? No, because that's like an act, a different action. That's so not, not the activating, activating a min here? action. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's just like its own separate thing. I wish it had a name on it where it says like activate this min here or something. But oh, it, it literally is just like, here's what you're doing for zero energy. But like it's... I don't okay. Know. Okay. Okay, so do you want to move? Uh, so next is oh, reveal our move guardians. Oh yeah, maybe he'll go away. Uh, he's gonna go west. So because he can't go west, I think it is. Um, let me just double check. I forget if it's been a while since we've had these guys running around. Uh, if the guardian should move to an unrevealed or unconnected location, move it to the highest numbered connected location instead. Oh, so it's, so it's come actually up. going here, 131. Oh, right to Timberwall. Yeah, right where we want to go. Well, maybe we don't want to go there now. I mean, we want to boot it past him. If we okay. can, boot it. Boot it. <laughs> I know, right? Well, I would love to go to Kunat. That's where I'm voting. That's where I'd like Kunat? to go. Okay. Um, okay, let's go to Kunat. Maybe we can just keep this over here for now. Just kind of sure. floating there. Sure. Okay, let's go to Kanat. Let's just kind of go as far down as we can. Yep. Also going uh, down south here, we don't have to deal with uh, uh, event cards or encounter cards, sorry, on the way. Oh, another thing, I do have item Morgane's Blood that we got. Morgane's Blood uh, that I can use zero energy to gain two terror, gain three magic, and I discard it. So if we're ever in a tight situation where we just need to keep moving with this um, crude men here, I can get some magic by just tossing that. It's an item we got. Mm -hmm. Um and if you have energy, maybe one left over and we can't move or something with it, you just use it to generate a magic? Yeah, true. Turn. Yeah, yeah. We, but I can only do it to get up to four total. So okay. if I ever have four, I can't use that ability. Oh, but. okay. Oh, okay, yeah. so do you want to move? Uh, yes, I am down to move. Okay. Uh, so we need to spend three here? Yes. So I will spend... So we can go to Serene Visage because they're connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will spend one. That'll put me to four. One. And then, sure, I'll spend another one. Okay. So we're both at so four. So we're both at four. Uh, do you want to do it again? I kind of do, just so we're not beside that guardian. Yeah. So that way, like, he's never going to move diagonal. So we can kind of be safe from him for now. Okay. So I'll spend the two this time. Sure. One, two. That would leave you one if you did want to so do a magic. So the bloody blend. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll just use it to generate a magic. Okay. That's efficient, I feel. All right. So end our day? Yes. Oh, yeah, maybe we want to get some food while we're kind of in this area, depending if he jumps in there, too. True. Okay. While we're, while we're there. All so right. end of day, I'm going to eat a food. Yep, same. Uh, everything's good. Yep. Go up to six. All right, energy spend, or experience spend at all? No. Uh, we're not in a dream location? No. Okay, uh, start of day. Uh, this disappears. Okay, then that will make, oh, yeah. We weren't quick enough, so we're going to have to spend magic to get this back, right? Yeah. Unless we want to light this man here. Uh, 111. Shoot, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yep. Farshire and all that stuff. This is going to be like a little inefficient, but... So the 111, this man here that just went away, is two food. Sorry, 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 start again. Two energy, one food, two magic. Plus my additional magic. Or we just spend the energy and magic to say whatever man and yeah. just keep going with the portable man here. Yeah. I think that's probably what it wants you to do. All right. Uh, and the next is, do we, this one go down? Nope, not yet. Um, so it goes to three. Yep. Oh my God. Yeah, the men here is going to go out super fast. 
because we're doing very little every day. But I don't think we need to stay up there. No, nope, what am I doing? <laughs> Ooh, I meant to put this over here. That fast. A little early here, a little early, all right. Uh, okay, so do you want to roll for the Guardian? Oh, reveal the event card first, sorry. And then yep. Guardian. Heavy rainfall. We Each travel costs one additional energy, but we're both wearing adventurous kits, yes. which ignore the effects of heavy rainfall and unnatural chill events. Perfect. All right, so we're rolling the die for the Guardian. Show me a big fat X, or just a gray is fun, or like a blank. Uh, he's actually going north, uh, but it's not connected. So he'd go here. So 132. 132. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, you go that way. We'll go lower locations. See you later. It was good we dodged him, because if we stayed there, he would have came to us. Yeah. But I thought that's a safe play. Just get by him while we can. Uh, all right. And okay. then active items and secret cards. We're good. I think we all have one of each trait showing. I have a relic hidden. I have uh, Excalibur's scabbard kind of just hiding here. But I'm, I'm using my Tarnished Talisman, which helps me lose more terror. So again, gaining terror from this won't be the worst thing. Uh, okay. Oh, and uh, when we stepped here, it didn't reveal anything, right? No. Okay, perfect. Uh, well, it was already revealed, and then it went away. No, no. Here, I was thinking, oh, right, here, but I yeah, couldn't no. see, because uh, my guy's on top of it. All right. Uh, start of a new day. Let's, what are we doing here? Um, do we do the food, or do we do spend I feel energy? like we should stop here to do, uh, like, gather some food. Like, we only have three each, and if we're going to be wandering a bit, and it's only literally going, like, one or two spaces a day. Yeah. It's going to take a while. Yeah, so we're going to be needing to eat food. But again, there was something near Kunat that you could do that at. Remember we got it back recently and we were like, oh, yeah, like uh, we can hunt again. I just don't know where that is, but we're right here. So part of me wants to just do a regular move. Hunt. So hold on. Let's count what this energy would cost us to do this food. Because it's kind of dumb. If we're only gaining two food, drawing a green encounter, doing a fight could hurt us. But we're both full on everything. Yeah. Which we would be eating after that to help us. Ah. <sighs> But if it's a bad combat and we have to escape from it, that's more energy wasted. We could come here together and do this, but it's literally spending so much energy. Maybe we just ditch it. Hold on. So if, let's say, we both went there, that's three energy. Mm -hmm. Then one of us does the action to try to get food. It's yep. two energy spent. So let's say I spent the two first, two next. I'm at three. I gain two food, I draw a green encounter, I have to fight. If I run, I'm down to two energy, I have to end my day there. And I spend a food. Now I literally, out of all that, I just got one extra food to help us going forward. And I put us further away from Kunat. So maybe we maybe just we run. ignore it. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we just ignore it. Okay. So then let's just... Because you can generate food. I can eat magic instead of food. I can spend one energy to do my character action with inspiration, my skill card I have here. So, like, worst case, we're stuck somewhere, like, we can use energy to eat and make magic and that stuff. We're kind of self-sufficient. So, maybe let's not get so dependent on that. Okay, so then let's do... So, we're going to use the crude men here? Yeah, so let's do the pay one magic per player. Done. So, remember, we can help each other with costs yes. if needed. And uh, then that we will reveal... I'm assuming, yeah, we're not going to the lake because oh. it's not connected. Yeah. So, but we know it's there because you can see the art. But we have to go this but I, way. But that is one that was destroyed, I believe. So oh. there's something different there, which is interesting, but... We it, won't be able to see it yet. Not yet. So let's go 106. Yep. Oh, sunken mounds. 106 is 123. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's 123 now. Uh, okay. Okay. So then we can move there. Yep. So I will spend... I'll spend two. You spend one this time. Uh, sure. Okay. I feel like we're going to need that space. Yeah, yeah. You want to do it again? To 102? To the right. Um, Where do you think it is? Well, we can't go south anyway, so obviously it's to the right. Yeah. Here. Okay. So let's spend a magic each to... Uh, done. Crude men here time. Uh, so I'm looking for whatever is 102. Yeah, 102 Oh, is... and 101 is where Kunat is, so it yeah. should be right beside that. Okay, yeah. so... We're, we're as close as I thought. Uh, 102. I'm looking for straight 102? Yeah. yeah. Hunter's Grove. Yeah, there's the food. See, I knew there was some food coming. Okay. And if we have to pass through it anyway. Oh, 101's below it. Okay, that's oh, So that's we can stop fine. here. We can do here and then still do the gain two food and a green encounter thing. Yeah, so let's move. Oh, so that was a good choice. Will good you talk. spend the two this time and I'll spend uh, one? Yep, absolutely. One, so I'm at two. three. Okay. So what we're going to do is when the next start of day happens and it removes stuff out of range of an active men here, this will go away. 
Right. And we're just but we're not going to move it now. We'll say it kind of like still kind of slit for the day, but it probably like see here's the ambiguity of the rules. And I know guys were saying like, oh, maybe after you move, it should just go away right away. Yeah, because it's not lit by but anything. But the timing little, of that is yeah, that's a little crazy. I'm just going to do it when we do start of day. But if you're thinking we're just walking around with like a lantern, yeah, nothing is keeping that lit right now. But again, in these rules. Even if a men here went out, the locations don't go truly dark till the start over till like nighttime has come basically. So that's how I'm gonna treat it. Is like we kind of kept the weirdness away. It's like a wind, and then overnight it kind of comes back in and makes the locations disappear. So thematically, that's how I'm gonna treat it. All right. So, okay. uh, so we're here. Mm -hmm. uh, we both don't really have the energy to. Um, no, I could just use my one. Could explore. To... Oh yeah, I I'll can just use generate my magic. one to gain a food, and I'll just gain a magic. Yeah. Oh, I have to spend two to gain a food. No. No. Okay. Because if I'm I was gonna, gonna do, do that, I would just uh, do this. I'm gonna do it for the magic, though. I'll do my last action. So we're good. Um. Should I explore it? Nothing says we can't, right? No. Sure. Let me explore. Let me just use it. Maybe we'll get something. That will help be helpful. Or you can spend two to get. Well, I don't want to go exhausted because right now we need the. I don't want to be exhausted every True. turn. Yep, yep, yep. But you could turn it into some energy uh, or into two food. I could. But then you might have to fight and lose yeah. some health and all that stuff. But who knows? Uh, yeah. Okay. So 102. 102, yeah. Let me see if I have any notes on this while you're doing it's that. It's been a while. It's been a while. All right, the Hunter's Grove. Oh, yeah, but actually exploring things, we could have the Winds of Weirdness, right? Changing up things, but this one I don't think is. I don't see it by glancing here. Uh, it's still here, as always. Enormous. Empty eye sockets start to watch you as soon as you descend into the moss-covered basin. The horns, as wide as a long ship, are now a home for countless birds. Inside the vast skull lies a quiet candlelit shrine with several straw mattresses strewn about. The local hunters call this ancient skull the Stag Father and lay charms and offerings around it. The legends say the Stag Father takes the dreamers away to join him on the great hunt. If you don't have the tracker status, uh, we do not. Go to verse 3. Okay. So maybe we've never explored here. Uh, 3. A trail of blood and broken branches is not usual, unusual in the sacred forests of the great hunter. You almost pass it without noticing when an imprint of a bloodied hand on a white birch's bark catches your attention. This prey certainly wasn't an animal. Gain the tracker status. Okay. Then choose one of the following. Choose Then choose one. Follow the trail. Go to verse 5. Or carry on. Go to the start of this location and make another choice. I'll follow the trail. Follow the trail. Verse yeah. 5. A tangle-haired brown maiden lies hidden deep in the briars clenching her pierced gut it looks like the hunter became the prey judging by the bow maiden's hisses and curses there's still some fight in her you approach regardless her wound looks beyond your help there's only one place where they can tend to injuries like this the island asylum off the coast to the south but it's a long trek to save a bloodthirsty servant of the stag father place a time token on the dial i don't know what you got a time token? I do. And a dial. Okay, place a time token on the dial and set it to two. This dial moves with your character model. As long as you have the dial, add one to each energy cost you pay. When the dial ticks down to zero, discard it. This will make the task impossible to complete. You can also voluntarily discard the dial at any time. <laughs> New task. Bring the wounded bow maiden to the island asylum and explore the asylum to find help for her. Exploration ends. So the island asylum, I believe, is on the other side of Kunat and to the south. It's not too far away. I feel like it's not here as Kunat, something else, and it's just down here. I so don't know it's that we one, even make it that two, far. three. I know, especially since we're we're carrying this crude men here and it costs extra energy. This, and now I'm carrying this This dead was lady. something on 102 that we should have done like at the beginning of the game to help her when we had that location up. So it may be it's time to just say screw you. But uh, so. Do we try? I don't know. Oh, it's going to take down to one. We're only going to have one day. We won't have enough time. 
Because right because now, of all the energy we're spending, yes, it's impossible to do. So if you just want to discard it yeah, and say I do. no thanks, we just let her die. Let her die. She's dead. Done. Sorry, lady. I would have helped you if yeah. we didn't have this other. Yeah. So we should have explored later. But hey. Or should have not followed the path and chosen another well, option. I didn't know. But hey, whatever. Now we have the tracker status. So, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> well, no. When you go back there, I don't think you can. No, you can't do it again. Talk to her again. But you can come back and do other things. But it'll probably be like, did you come back with this or that did you help her and find this like yeah you may have walked yourself out of that but that's fine just okay. a task just a side story all right uh ending the day yeah eating, eating a food, food. yeah uh down everything is good yeah. so we're just going full and dreams yeah hunters mm -hmm. grove as a dream you have to do your toss and yeah, dial toss and dial uh, i'm having the nightmare mm -hmm. you're having the dream okay All right, dream and a nightmare, they're together, actually. If you have part two of the morning song status. That sounds familiar. Um, morning song, we do not. Okay. Uh, it says your sleep is dreamless tonight, otherwise read on. You drift off under the okra painted constellation into the restless sleep where you chase a young drove, a young dove, sorry, in the hills just outside of Kunat. You wake early in the morning in a cold sweat with several fresh cuts. A taste of blood fills your mouth. Beside you, raw pieces of meat lay carefully wrapped in leaves. If you don't have the hunter's mark status. The hunter's mark, we do. Oh, uh, we would gain two food and then gain the hunter's mark status. So we've obviously had this happen before. But yeah, we've drank anyways, it before. So this is obviously early game and trying to help us out, give us some food. We've already done it. It's not going to give it to us later. we got to earn it by killing things. Oh, All right. that's too bad. Okay. So start of day. Uh, this is going to tick down. We'll remove this location as we discussed. I'm going to set this dial to two. Uh, there it is. Two. On Serene Visage. We're down to two days. Okay. Uh, event, event card. card. Unnatural chill, which we we're protected from. We that, so that's good. Which would be, if you're out of settlement, you end your day, uh, or, and then the day starts, you lose two health. Uh, then we're going to move this guardian. At least it can't get us. Yeah, yeah. Come and get us now, buddy. <laughs> uh, to the north. So he's hanging out in Longborough. Okay. Uh, okay. And then active vitamin C cards. We're good. Yeah. So now what are we doing? We're going 101, right? I think so. 101 so is different. Just We're going to move FYI. this and hopefully I don't mess up the connection. It's going straight up, right? Yep. Straight up. Yep. <laughs> and, and connect then, this here. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Just check. Just, check. just <laughs> kidding. Just I was messing like it up. Uh, all right. Okay. So you want to spend the magic? Uh. Yep. Sure. Okay. So we're using the crude men here. Yep. Action. One hundred and one. One hundred and one. Which is and now something is something new. different, and I don't know the number. Yeah. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'm looking at the gray numbers on the card now. Broken Kunat is what it would be called. I assume based on the quest we have right now. Yep, 121 Broken Kunat. Oh, yeah, I could have looked at the quest to see the number, 121. Oh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> oh, it's still friendly. They like us. Okay, do you want to move there? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, Unless we want to gather food before moving. One, two, and then I would still be able to do that. We can. It's just we might not be able to explore this turn if we do that to get us some food. I kind of want to myself before I leave. Okay, you do it first, One, and then we'll see two. what you get. So I gain two food. So I'm doing it by myself. Yep. Two energy, two food. Which is probably bad to be doing level three and level fours by myself, but I might just run, which loses me some more energy. Oh, it's just a tree. I'm fine, right? It's three. Oh, it is actually not too bad. It's not an encounter. Uh, some of its branches are dead and covered in snow. Some are green with fresh leaf buds, and some are in full bloom. Something's wrong here. Uh, each party member, so I did it by myself, I lose a terror. That's good, right? Yeah. Each party member gains a magic. That's... For each of their empathy and... Hold on, let me do the lines here. So I lose a terror, I gain a magic, all right? Then... No, oh, for I gain a magic each point. for each point. Is this the one we messed up before, maybe, when you didn't get enough magic? No. So yeah, the sentence starts on, it continues on the next line. Each party member gains one magic, so I took one for each point of spirituality and empathy, so I should take two more. Oh, lucky. That is a nice hit. I wonder how many That was there, perfect. I wonder how many of those are in the deck, actually, because I would want to hunt for those, because <laughs> that's great. 
So well, you just have to fight one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, no, seven, I have to eight, nine, ten. Run away from ten <laughs> others to get that. But that's cool. That there's still good stuff left. That in the was deck. juicy. There's still hope left in Avalon. All right. Do I try? Well, at least you'll get two food out of it. If you see an encounter, you see an encounter, you have to run from it, whatever. Yeah, okay, I'm going to spend two. I'll get two But you food. also have this. You could use your thing to prevent damage and stuff. But then i got to spend energy. Yep, that's which true. Then puts me in exhaustion. Uh, but I don't have to choose that until... Yep. Uh, okay, um, let's do a green encounter. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. It's not god. a tree. He's huge. He's huge. Let's see what we got. We got a level four. Uh, Sunworm, 30, what? Oh the eldest, most majestic worms like to stretch their bodies on sun-baked rocks. He's an opportunist, so if you don't play at least two cards, you're doing the opportunity attack of, oh, just four damage. Uh, so if you try to run from this, you're actually taking four damage unless you're wearing your armor. This is insane. Yeah, this is the risk you took. So a little bit of damage along the way. Look but at all you... that loot, though. If I can kill that guy? Yeah, but look. If you're wearing your armor during this fight, those that damage is like nothing. Yeah. And it's just like losing red cubes. Yeah, you'll get a bit of terror, but you have that That's tarnished fine. talisman. So I, I look bet. at all that stuff. I want to try this. Yeah. So I I would totally agree. Go nuts. <laughs> your best bet, because running away, you'll if you wear your armor, you'll take two damage and you'll lose uh, an energy from wearing your armor and an energy from running away. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely use my armor. So I will prevent two from all attacks. Yep. So you've lost energy for using I it? I did. Okay. One, two, three. And I have to play... Just uh, play your cards off screen. That's fine. Nope. Play them. Yeah, okay. Play. Like that. Okay. Oh, lots of red cubes to start. I like Great. it. I like it. No mulligan, I guess? Uh, no. You got a surprise attack or a risky attack you can start with. But they both don't really do much for you based on his connections. But at least he's not blocking you on the free key to start. I have to play two cards. Yep. Otherwise, you're taking four damage. So I need to start with risky attack. I can cover it, so that's good. Question. So I can't start with this and cover it. And I have to play two cards. Because uh, those are both starter cards. So the only way I can play two cards is this way. Or can I pay magic on this Well, one? I don't want to pay magic right okay. now. Unless it's to win but later. Try to but draw cards because... If you're not drawing cards... Yeah, I'm going to end on this one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with Risky Attack. Putting one red cube. Tossing a dial. Please give me... More cubes. No. Nope. Nope. Bad, bad side, bad, bad side. side. Okay, so then we Plus will two damage. do Defend. Connecting on my double practicality. Correct. And... I will prevent two, and oh, I nice. will play a time token there. So I will prevent all of it from the three damage yep. you would do. Okay. Oh, yeah. so End of my turn, I will draw a card. Okay. Mm. And then remove that, and I will draw a card. Yeah, if you can get one of your ones that increases draw in the draw step, you have a way better chance of never getting hit by his opportunity by at and least playing two cards a turn. Cards. Okay, so let's start with that. Uh, covering up that is kind of annoying, so let me just... Oh, cover up a times two oh, without a... I'd have to play magic to do that. But hey, this, uh, how much does that hit if you drop it right now? If I drop it right now, it's going to hit for three. three and, and I would immediately draw, draw a card. Draw a card. <sighs> three. Which you could draw into something that gives you another red cube on a times two. Okay, let's do it. Maybe then I won't have to pay the magic. Okay, let's do it for three. Three red cubes. Three red cubes. One, two, three. So Only twenty six more to go. Four. And immediately drawing a card. Oh. oh. Okay. 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 Here we go. This is good. I you can do thirty oh, cubes and... by yourself. That's crazy. No. Okay. So then let's. Ooh, well, either way. Cards. Either way. I'm. Oh, unless I did this and paid the magic to draw two more cards. Seeing cards is what's going to get you this. For each point, gain a red cube for each point of damage received, which would be one if I stop there. Uh, mm, that's not terrible. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Let's draw some cards here. So i got to pay a magic. Ugh, hopefully I get that. So last magic. magic connection you can do in this play. Okay. And then I gain two cards. One, two. Okay, I'll look at those in one second. Uh, and I've played two cards, so I am good if I wanted to stop. But you would have to discard have to a card discard down a to card. three, so if you're going to lose a card anyway, you might as well play something. Throw. 
If I play this, you do draw a card, and then I don't need to connect my next one with a key. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that's good to wait on until I have like a. Oh, have you been doing your courage connection swords? I haven't got any yet. Oh, no, damn. no, not yet. They're coming though. Yeah, because you need that to do those. I would not flip it to do this. No. I would I would definitely, because the courage, since you need to get to 30, you need, like, as max red cubes on everything as possible. Don't do, like... Kind of thinking of just... Uh, the next one doesn't... Yeah, and if you leave that down, it's kind of like a waste, right? You need that to kind of connect what you need to connect. Or you just throw down... But this could let you play into a starter card. So, look, you could drop down the... So you drop down this... And then it like lets you set up more card draw, but I know it's not using the times two the best of its ability. No, but th this will give me. But it starts the card draw. Starts the card draw, and it would give me one because I'd connect on a double courage. But. Or right, do I just stop yeah, there? What am I discarding does... though? That's the part that's I don't know what to tell. No, you. I think I need to keep going so I don't have to discard because I think I want to use all my cards if I'm even gonna make it this far. So let's do it. Let's drop this one. I will get one red cube for, you. thank you. Then I will draw a card. Oh, things have changed. Yeah. Things have changed. I will play surprise attack. This, my next card does not need to connect with yep, a yep. bonus. So we're doing well, two, two for two. the courage, yep. one for practicality and two for the double. Wow. And then I get to draw a card. So you're at 10 cubes now. I get to draw a card. And I got a final third of blow. The way. Third of the third way. Third of the way. It's ten beautiful cubes. So now I could. So I don't have to discard. Did you draw on the play too I did. for this? Or? Yeah. So I don't have to discard. I could do that and then just not flip over the weapon. Yeah, but then it just leaves kind of crap. What am I at here? Ten. ten. So right now he would just take away one. And you block the damage fully. And I block the damage fully. But I have to discard. Which I think... I don't even know what I would discard. Oh my god. Or I just play this. Doing another 2. Putting him to 12. Putting me at the same spot. Now I don't discard. Yeah, let's do it. But then your start next turn is like super crappy. Like Well, I can just play something like this. Ah, true, true. Okay. Okay. So we're starting the next group of 10 here. So 12. Okay. And, and I don't have to do this, nope. right? Okay. Okay. So we're at 12. I will stop there. He and will do so two, you, which I will block. And, and then you lose one. Okay. So you're at 11. At 11. So I have three cards drawing the start of my turn. Perfect. Okay. So then let's start with this one because this kind of just is meh. And I will draw a card. Yep. So you have double, I have double like three card. practicality. Yes. So you're good. I just don't want to run out of cards here. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. I can do it in all the cards I have. Okay. Okay, okay. Final blow we're going to hold till later. I think I'm going to do... I can do, I can do both now. of them. I'm just trying to figure out which order. Lose to prevent one. Yeah, let's do... Swift reposition, I think, is fine, yeah. So I'll do one for the practical. Oh, no, 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 sorry, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Oh, either way, it doesn't matter. Either way, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, that's fine, sorry. So one for the practicality. How many cards did you drop in the end of the turn? Oh, I only drew one. Oh, no, but you just played that, right? Yeah, you just need to pop one more card yeah, down yeah, yeah. to save from opportunity. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so one for that one. You're at 12 again. Then we're going to do careful attack. One more. So one, two, three. Only three. Oh, sorry. Three, three more. So you're at 15, halfway. 15, halfway. And that does 15 is now you're in the one damage, which you totally block, and gaining two terror at a time. So you need to get to 21 as fast as possible so you're not gaining two terror a turn. Okay. I'm stopping there. Okay. So I'm preventing the damage yep, from gaining two tear. Two tear though. One, two. Okay. So no red cube loss, which is great. And now I'm drawing two cards. Yep. One, 
too. Oh, more card draw. You gotta be careful. Okay, so I have to start with <laughs> this one. I don't have many red cubes here. I kind of want to hold on to that just in the, in case I can't get it or I start to run out of cards. I can so just you can escape. The damage, yeah. yeah. Uh, so well, you'd only take two damage to leave and lose an energy. Mm -hmm. Not the worst. You're right. That's not the worst. But watch out with the extra card drop problem because you're down to literally five cards left and you're drawing two a turn. So you literally have to get 15 more damage in like two turns. So you got like this turn and, and two more, I think. And I have to play two cards. Otherwise, you take two damage. I think I have to play something into final blow. I think. Uh, that's, mm, just to get some more red cubes on there. If, and then. Yeah, if you can get it above uh, to 21 at least, you're only taking a damage and no more terror, but you'll lose red cubes, which kind of set you back. Well, let's try. So let's. Because I have to play two cards. I don't want to take. Okay, so let's play that one first. Hold guard. Or do I, or do I do, do I do reposition into, no, if I do that, no. Well, you can change it to the first one where you're just taking one damage instead of tear or losing red cubes at some point. That's good for that. Yeah, so let's do that. It's kind of annoying. I'm not getting my courage connection line up going. Okay. Oh, I can't do it that way. I have to do it the other way. Sorry, because of the magic. I'm not paying the magic. So that's okay. my free card. No, no. Now you've played two. I did? I think you started with hold guard. Oh, you're right. I only have to play. So you're done. Oh, I'm done. Just stop. No, then I can't play that. Sorry, I thought that was my first card. I'm oh. going crazy here. I need to play this. Pretty sure. Oh, that's why I said into final blow. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. So that'll do two, three, yeah. four, five, five. So we're now at 20. So I need 10 more. And no red cubes in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 20. Yeah, because what I will do is start with... All right, so it's doing one damage you block, gaining two more tear then. Okay. Okay. Oh, and it's going to lose two red cubes and you take another damage because you did final blow, which is why... Okay, well, that's fine. Shouldn't do that. That's fine. I had to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have three cards. End of my turn. Draw, Draw two. two. One, two. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have no red cubes. Yeah. Three cards left. I might not have this. Yeah. Because, like, next turn, that's kind of it. Okay, I'm definitely going to play this first. It's, I can't set up card draw, so I can't play that. <laughs> and that's magic. Well, you could draw this turn and just try to finish it in this Or turn, I could. You have to get 12 cubes, and you've already played final blow and throw. Well, and I have times three. <laughs> I think I have one more at surprise attack. So if I did this, I'll lose one to draw. Two. What's happening right now? What are we at here? Did you, did you play that card already this turn? This is the first card I played. Oh, okay, okay. But we're at 10. You're 18. 18. Mm, yeah, 18. Gain two terror. So you need 12. Oh, my God. So you have to do it. You have next turn, and then you could draw on your next turn, and you draw your last card, but you don't want to go one more round after that because you'll lose. Well, that's when I will play this if I need to. <laughs> I think I just... One more card so you don't get hit for two damage. Yeah, I think I just do this. But you will lose because uh, the oh. start of your turn, you go to draw two cards, but you only have one left, so you'll lose. Because you you have no deck left. So then I have to play this. That's the only... Oh, okay, then let's start this turn again. <laughs> okay, well, I could do this as my first card. Okay. Oh, man. into into that oh same problem if you just draw one card this turn or set up to draw like having this down is fine to draw a card but you don't have the magic to connect it no 
You could put that down too. And then I just draw, and then I'll have then all my cards. Three. Yeah, then you're not playing games. But what am I if you play something accidentally that draws. But what am I connecting to, to it, I guess? I don't know. What can you connect to it? This one, I think. Uh, the only one I can connect is that. That's the problem. <laughs> oh. When it started to turn, you lose. Yeah. You can't leave that down. I guess I could do reposition and then just hope. Or I just leave now. Your call. But I don't think in the last three cards you have a way to drop 12 cubes. I don't see that happening. But I mean, it sucks because I have the times three here, so I could. Well, that doesn't, still doesn't get you 12. Unless you have a double red on the bottom. I do. You drop six. I but... do have a double red on the bottom, and it's in here. Okay, then gamble. How do it. I make this work? How... Worst case, you lose, you're getting four. You're, or, or two damage. Whoopee. Like, two damage. That's all. We're, we're eating every day. You're gaining one back. Like, I, I don't think it's that bad. But who knows what's going to happen in the next uh, exploration journal entry. <laughs> If I start with this, you'll gain two more terror too at the end, unless you choose a different attack, which is probably good. You have the one that you choose the attack. Yeah, but it only connects on magic, unless I play nah. this as my only card, and, and then, then I'm taking two damage, right? Two damage, and then you choose the let's say the first one because you don't want to lose red cubes. Or you can force one to get ripped up if you pick that last option. You take no damage and it rips it up, but you still take two from opportunity. Yeah, but then look at my connection I'm starting with. I know, I know. But then I could play this as my first card. Into I'm drawing. Am I drawing my whole hand at that point? So shouldn't have spent that magic. Mm -hmm. So if I do this as my only card I play... You can choose any I one of those from the table. The bottom one. This card will go away. Which is kind of sucky because you need no, that. No, I would sooner. choose. I think I would choose the first one. The first one, yeah. So you're gonna lose a total of because you only played one card. You're gonna take two from the opportunity and one spillover from the one, others. One, two, three. You're down to four. Yeah. But at least the if you don't it lose rip anymore. Up and then. If you don't lose any more, you will then eat a food. You'll go up to five where you can still get your full energy going at least. But careful because you're almost panicked. Okay, let's try. Let's do that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It's the only card I'm going to play. So end of turn. You get hit by the opportunity attack because he's an opportunist. Two. And then which you choose. I choose which the top one. Top one, so you take one more. Okay. Oh, and I have to discard a card, okay. which I'm going to discard this one. Extra draw. Makes Extra sense. draw. Yep, sure. So then I draw two. Yep. One, two. How many attacks? Text using the first, first. Oh, yeah, wait. draw card. So you can draw one more. You see your whole deck, and you know what's possible, and you can still run away if you need to run away. Okay, so sucks, 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 because of only having. Well. So I think I have a surprise attack here. Oh. Uh, I don't think it's enough. Okay, so if I started with. Start with this, you draw cards, but that's like you draw one. But then would I see. die? Because I go to draw and I can't draw two? Oh, it's two. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so that has to go there. on. A... Well, yeah, you wouldn't be able to play that after. I won't be able to play that. Magic. I could play this, which would do one. Five total, right? Yeah. I'm not drawing a card. So you're. Uh... 23 you need seven more red cubes <laughs> seven more and i have none on yeah here. so i was saying okay. you already spent so, final blow and throw i knew this was like all right so we're gonna do that this is so annoying so i'll just escape so one energy to escape and you're out look at that though she <sighs> got to 23. i knew it was there what was it attack which that if i had, yeah if you saw that first you could because i could have done yeah i don't know i don't know if it would have uh, worked but yeah, you need to still have like final blow at the end because yeah. that that lost two cubes. Like it, final blow really only got you like two or three cubes. Yeah, I should have counted it out more. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you have to be like 100 percent efficient, get things in the right order. That this guy is a come with two people card. I think I, think I could have. Or a better combat deck. Or you need to buy more combat cards. That's what that says. Yeah. Get some more red cubes in your deck. Oh, look at all that stuff. I know. Like I took. On the bottom of the deck, we may see him again oh, in the future. Man. I'm sure we'll get our chance again. Sorry if you're revenge. screaming at your TV yeah, right yeah. now. Like, I should have oh. probably really thought about 
the yeah. orders of some of those. I think you should have held a final blow with a reposition, like, the whole time, even though you're drawing into stuff and discard other things. Just keep that to the end. But even so, because you, yeah, you didn't use it to full effect. You yeah. Need to, you need to be super efficient on every red cube to max it out. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that is, um, that was just you doing the action on the location, right? Yeah. Uh, do you I still move? have two energy left. Did I do the food thing? Yeah, yeah. And I got a good encounter, right? Yeah. Uh, so if we move... Uh, I can spend one. Yeah, I can spend two. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, done. Two. So I'm down to two energy left. All right, so we did the extra movement. And now if you... Oh, okay. Do you want to just stop there yeah, then? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, so eating a food to end our day. Yeah, eating a food. So make sure you lose extra terror because lose you have a relic. two terror. Uh, this shining talisman. Go up one health, yeah. And I'll just go to full energy. You go and to four go spaces. To, so I go to five. Okay, and then uh, what else is there? A dream? Oh, yep, and dream. Broken Kunat, which is brand new. Interesting. Oh, first, do you want to spend any, uh, do any uh, modifying of your decks with their experience? <laughs> do you, after we're doing level threes and fours now, it feels like. Uh, okay, maybe. sure, let's do it. I'll spend I'm gonna two. Do it too. I'm gonna One, do it two. two. Let's get my little deck. Shuffle it up before you draw, though. Just, okay. I mean, we haven't really used it, but. You should always shuffle because you are you should have the chance to see things that you've seen before. But Mel okay. never shuffles, she always forgets, so she just keeps drawing the top three. Three? Thank yeah. you. I was gonna say how many no do problem. I draw? Okay, okay. Ingenious trap. I think you have this in your yep. deck. Yep, yep, yep. Which I which like. Is like that. All the practicality Dean. connections you get. And I have a floor. lot. So that is definitely yeah. on my. That would have helped you in that last battle, maybe. Yeah. Because you did connect quite a few practicalities. So then I have crippling attack. So we got cubes on the here so and here. A so starter, starter card. card. Gain two charges. I pay one charge, lose one less, and draw a card. That's pretty good. And then it's this okay, is okay. If, so but you have enough card draw in your deck that that's, it actually hurts you. Like you adding more cards is going to help your card draw problem. But if you have cards like this that are drawing you more cards you're gonna like lose out because you run through your whole deck mm -hmm. but i mean you need to see your cards to do things so okay and then reaping uh immediately remove all charges from all sewing cards in the sequence gain two for every charge moves away i don't have any of these so i think yeah, seeing these three going the sewing route i'm gonna take ingenious trap yeah, and if we can that. yeah so i just need a oh a sleeve yeah uh, those aren't here uh sleeves are somewhere else <laughs> <laughs> well you pick uh, yours, but i'll do mine right now you could always just take a card out of your deck. I'm just joking. You need to make your deck bigger if you have all that draw. So I got two maggot cards here. I got uh, Snake Bite, which uh, some mad double red cube action happening there. And it's on practicality, which I now have two of, so I should be able to connect more double practicalities. Oh, and it gives you a three times. Card draw on the top, card draw on the bottom, three times sitting out. That's craziness. Uh, another maggot, Vicious Hex. I think I've seen this one before, I feel like, but maybe not. Uh, so it's a bonus key on Courage, which I have three Courage, so that's fine. Um, I draw a card on Practicality. Magic, another double red if I can do Magic Connection. Mag red a cube on the free key. Throws up a two times. Courage and Practicality, again, a Magic Connection. That's very flexible. And then you gain a red cube. Another one of these gain a red cube for every Magic Connection. So if I'm using Magic more in combat, that's a great card. And then we have one of these the passive abilities that, oh, that, that I draw extra draw, which is same one I have. Yeah, I don't really have extra draw in my deck, but it's a starter card. But it does leave up two times, and you do lose an energy though. But I feel like drawing extra is, is it worth? Great, and I don't have that. I only have that advantage when I'm with you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we're hanging out together lately. Yeah. I feel like this card draw right here not losing energy is kind of interesting but i may not see this that often but a three times lined up oh boy and you have double practicality to connect yep, something so else that, to that it does, now i'm ready for that and there's card drag i'm gonna take snake bite i'm gonna take snake bite uh okay okay so we got the card sleeved up uh shuffled in our decks and i guess we're ready to continue on with the rest of our end of day so dream time or nightmare time let me find out here uh i'm having the nightmare of course Okay. Well, last nightmare didn't hurt you. 121. Well, last one was like a joint nightmare. Yeah. Uh, dream. You Broken should... Kunat. First time here. All right. The dream. The sky is blue. The summer breeze caresses the meadows. And the tents of Arthur's army gathered around a pristine men here. The soldiers prepare to carry their conquest westwards, but some settlers decide to stay. 
The open fields, the nearby woods, the serene meadow, perfect conditions to establish a new farm hold. The people work with enthusiasm, building a new home. They name this place after a half-forgotten folk hero from their lands beyond the vast sea. Piece by piece, Kunat is born. Each character who has this dream gains an energy. Oh, that's beautiful. That worked out perfect. Uh, nightmare. Here we go. A beam cracks. A rope snaps. With a thunderous roar, Kunat's men here slides into the chasm and disappears in the black bowels of the earth. One of the women slowly approaches the edge, looks down, weeps, and jumps. An older man follows her, then a family of three. One by one, rather than becoming stranded alone in the weirdness, the last people of Kunat choose a quicker way out. You try to stop them, but your voice is gone, and your feet are glued in place. Each character who has this nightmare gains two terror. Oh no. It's my theme here. <laughs> terror, terror maggot. He's always in terror. Uh, all right. Uh, another thing I wanted to do, because we didn't look at it, yes, Broken Kunat, I, I want to show the camera. I totally forgot. Um, it's 121, friendly settlement, dream place, men here, still still a thing. Uh, two energy you can sp spend to help the townsfolk where you gain a rep only once per day. And the last days of Kunat don't look pretty. <laughs> and you go to west, you can go anywhere. This mm -hmm. is a center location, it's great. The other thing we didn't do is we could have looked at the men here. For this one because it's uh, new yeah, it's so true. if you want to yeah, let yeah, me yeah. know uh so it says to activate the men here uh requires all characters men here write secret card in the stone shaper's tools seems the same mm -hmm. pay one energy okay two health oh two wealth two magic per player i think that's what it was before it was always expensive yeah okay. and then you get to put a new men here model in this location it says dial to eight minus one per player so six i feel like it's all the same because i remember this one being super expensive and it had the block of finding the stone shapers tools yeah which we have and we're fine so that's okay. pricey i don't know if it's better just to stay with the portable men here idea but we'll see exploring here might be part of what we need to end this chapter is help broken Kunat, like build them a men here maybe that's what it is maybe uh okay uh, so start of day move expired men here and discard locations that are unconnected yep and I'm going to set this down to one. One? Wow. Yep. It was at two. Wow, so that one's faster one is the than next I number. thought. Well, no, it makes sense because we're only moving like two locations a day. Yeah, we're all the way down here now. <laughs> so this one's gone. Yep. Okay. Uh, reveal the next event card. Of course, we yes. get good weather after we're we don't at need Kunat to move. and we're not moving right now. <gasps> Stupid random events. All right. Uh, so okay. one less energy to travel, um, which that would have been so nice, like... In the, any of the last, last round, uh, yeah. guardian, un yeah, guardian. roll that guardian die. Yes, well, it didn't matter anyway because he can't even get to us, but still, and that would have dropped off in two rounds. But the still. guardian is gone, put him it's at nice, the bottom of the deck. Nice to roll those X's now, he's in the deck, so we can always bump into him later. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay, you'll find your tree first, hopefully, <laughs> once we shuffle it. Okay, uh, and then pick active items and secret cards. I think we're good. I think we're good. Should we explore? Uh, and figure out what this quest is? I would is? think so. Do you, so what I'm going to do is just move this here for now. Uh, just put it in the middle. Whatever. Sure. I know it doesn't connect properly, but it doesn't that will all disappear things. in a minute, I think, before we go back there. Okay. So So uh, what do you think? Should we go together or... Yes. Yes. We usually do that if we think it's like part of a quest. Yeah. Go together. Because sometimes you walk in, what the game has kind of taught us, it, you'll walk into these things that are like your quest location, and then it's like, requires all characters is one of the options. Yep. Felt like that happened at Camelot and somewhere else, and just since then, it's like we might as well just do it together. So ready, one energy. Yep, spending energy. Let's do it. I'm Exploring one twenty-one. Here we go. Okay. Is it going to be easy enough that we just end right now our chapter? Mm -mm. I doubt it. I hope we don't have to run and go find something for these guys. Because <sighs> it says help broken Kunat. Yep, here we go. Do something. Yeah, but it might just be within the story tree here, True. I hope. I hope True. we don't have to leave and go somewhere else. Uh, if you have part one of the left behind status. Left behind. Uh, we do not. Okay. It says go to verse nine. Otherwise, read on. After your long journey, the sight of home should bring you relief. Instead, it only causes heartbreak. Even from afar, you realize fate was not kind to Kunat or its residents. The land has buckled and split open. The landmarks and houses you remember from your childhood are gone. The guardian men here hangs precariously on the edge of the chasm. After several waves of migrations and the slaughter of, half, of the halfway meeting, just a few dozen people remain. As you approach, you meet their tired, sad gazes. I see you received our message, one of them says. 
Are you finally here to help us? Yes, go to verse 1, or no, go to verse 10. Yes, hmm. we're there to help them. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, it's a choice. Should we flip a dial? Uh, all right, go to verse 1, we're going to help them. Yeah. Or yes. The remaining people of Kunat need guidance. Should they stay and attempt to survive, or leave the safety of the men here in search of greener pastures? They lead you to one of the last surviving buildings and gather around, hoping for words to break through the cloud of desperation. So our options here. Lead them to a safe place. Only if you don't have secret card 33, requires all characters in chapter 14. No, we can't do Damn that. Damn it. We're too early. <laughs> Maybe you are too early. Oh, man. Oh, no. Hold on. Promise you'll head out immediately to find a safe place for them. Requires all characters in chapters 10 to 12. Okay. So, that's so we could at. do that. This will end your chapter and will make you abandon their other missions. Go to verse 6. Or tell them to wait. You still have people to meet and places to visit. I got things to do, girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe you can find them help later. Each party member gains one terror. Exploration ends. Man, so what I get from this, I'm not, I don't know. I haven't read ahead, obviously. But it says from 10 to 12, you come here to help them. I'm going to bet right now that these three healthy things is whichever one we do is going to lead us to the next chapter. And the other two will be our quests on, like, it'll say, like, if you helped Kunat, throw away number one oh, and yeah. go to two, and it'll be help the other two. So I have this feeling because from 10 to 12 is going to be just helping these three places. So it didn't matter where we start. Oh. So that is going to suck because we may have to go back to All Farshire. Way back. Well, Farshire, Timberwall, or Crow's Nest. So I would say, yeah, let's pick Farshire. It's lower, <laughs> lower down. But we may have screwed ourselves because we could have done Timberwall or right beside it or went up to Crow's Nest. So. It could be a little rough, and I think we're going to be traveling with this portable men here for the next two chapters, just based on saying we can help Kunat in 10 to 12. Right. Just a side tangent. That's my guess. Okay. Well. Based on all the play we've done so far. All right. So promise you'll head out immediately and find a safe place for them. Yeah? You want to yeah, do it? Yeah, I think all right. so. Requires all characters. See, told you we we're should have done it as a party. Uh, in chapters 10 to 12. This will end your chapter. We're going to go to verse 6. Let's see how bad it will get before this, though. Many things occupied your time until now. Allies, wars, mystical artifacts, expeditions into weirdness. You agree to abandon all of this. The survival of your people must come first. There are places in Avalon that might be safe from weirdness. You need to find at least two of them. Go to Book of Secrets. And it looks like it's all the same skull here. Seven, seven, seven. All right. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Seven, 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 seven. Uh, whoa! Okay, we're getting we're on the last page of the book of secrets here. What? Or second to last page. Seven, seven, seven. You feel weary and tired. In the months following your departure from Kunat, you chased the Grail, escaped four dwellers, and bruised arms with the highest powers of Avalon. You've changed history and earned an everlasting presence among the sagas of the island. Yet nothing you did stopped the fall. You suck. Perhaps that was to be expected. After all, what could a lowborn from a distant village hope to accomplish that knights, sorcerers, and even Arthur himself couldn't? Yet, you're not ready to give up. If the fall of Avalon cannot be averted, you can at least make sure its people survive. With the men here's gone, and all major trails cut off by weirdness, only you can bring hope to forsaken communities throughout the world and lead them to safety. After all, what good are the sagas if there's no one left to tell them? Congratulations, you've completed your current chapter. Each character gains two experience. Yay. Which equals another combat card is what yep. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. If there are two to four players. We have that, yes. There are. Gain secret card four and secret card 42. Ooh, I like secret cards. Me too. Unless they give you rules. Unless they're bad. Yeah, unless they give like you this. bad rules. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get the skill deck separated here. Uh -huh. Okay, secret card 4 and 42. 4, hold on. And 42 is in here somewhere. Sorry, we got to keep the suspense. Yep. <laughs> Don't skip ahead. Stop scrubbing through the video. I see you doing it. Put that mouse down. All right. Number 4. Secret card 4. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. In rage. What the heck is this? As long as this secret card is in play, all combat encounters gain the rage trait, which the rage trait is resolve step three enemy attack twice per activation. 
So for I example, in that last battle you were in, it would have triggered off like where it did like one damage to you. He would have triggered it off again and done another damage like right after that. So or the double terror gain. Yeah. You would have been gaining four terror a turn or losing. Well, I would have ran away a extra lot Extra red cubes. Wow. So this just beefs up that whole deck. So if you thought having level three and level four encounters were bad, and who knows what it's going to do to us in the next chapter. Hopefully we don't lose level threes and just have fours. But this makes them even up a higher notch, I think. So unless we have an item that ignores rage, which none of and, us do. That's... And it's all combats as long as it's in play. So it doesn't even matter who's holding it. As long as the secret is in play, all combat encounters. This is another, like, these are yeah. we have just as a group, I think. Yeah. That's how that works. Well, hopefully this is better. Secret card 42. Hopefully it says, it says get rid of kill enrage. Kill the horse. Yeah. Kill, no, no. It's a, was it a crazy horse? Yeah, it, it is. Looks Look at that like art. It. That's cool. It's like a tied up crazy yeah, horse. Yeah, he's going insane. Yeah, he's the weirdness. From the weirdness. Yeah, he's got pink eyeballs. Oh my god. Or purple, I guess. All right, 42. Oh. Distrust, which also sounds bad. Every first diplomacy card uh, played during a character activation gives one less. So it's like defensive, kind of. Gives one less up arrow. So literally, we don't want to be doing encounters. We do want to just run from yeah. them all, even diplomacy. Yeah, okay. I what, see what the they're doing heck here. game? Like giving us level three, two and, and or three and fours aren't bad enough. That's it. I'm playing solo. You're out. I don't want to deal with these. <laughs> you gonna drop me? It said only on two to four players. Yeah. So you're out. Oh my you're out. God. We only have one player. I thought now. they were gonna be good. If you don't have them yet, so we could have had them earlier. Oh my god. Uh, discard all event cards, including active quests. Then either save your game or draw a chapter. Oh, save your game or draw a chapter thirteen setup card and follow its instructions to begin the next chapter. So we skip our first chapter. So maybe I'm wrong about doing all these in, in 11 and 12, and 10, 11, and 12. Maybe... Oh, wait. We already did 10. We're on 11. Yeah. So we're just skipping 12. What the heck? But so, I can't remember what 10 was. What do you mean? What was what our we did in chapter 10? 10? Dragon the Weird Song oh, yeah, up, yeah, to, yeah. up to, to Buddy. Yeah, Orin. Yep, yep, yep. So you could have bumped into Kunat maybe in chapter 10, helped and, them out, and then it ended your chapter. And maybe you just jumped ahead. That yeah, way. weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, I want to play this, through, this game through again and see what happens. Wow, we're still uh, a chapter. Yeah, so that's it. That's it for this play. Uh, do you have it noted? 777s, seven, seven, where we're ending the chapter in the book. Yes. So if yes. we play this a few days from now, we remember where we were kind of finishing. But thankfully, it's on YouTube, so we can always watch it there. All right. So that's crazy. That's how we're ending uh, chapter 11. So stay tuned for chapter 13. And sorry if you want chapter 12, you're going to have to find another YouTube channel that gives you chapter 12 or wait till we replay this game, I guess, and see that. Yeah. That's cool. We're skipping a chapter. Is this the first time we've got to yeah. skip a chapter? We've seen that we've other seen chapters could be skipped based on us, how chapters were ended and stuff. I don't remember what they were, which is kind of good. I want to kind of play this game, take a break from it and forget as much as I can and play it again, maybe solo. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But either way, this is awesome. That was good. Uh, so we're going on to 13. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you to our Patreon backers for supporting the channel. Thanks to everyone that donates on PayPal. Those links are in the description below if you'd like to support what we do here. Help us keep doing this. Um, hit that like button. Helps other people find these Tainted Grails on YouTube if you do that. Uh, leave comments below. Thank you to everyone following along. Let us know if we goofed up anything. Especially the crude men here. How you guys are dealing with it. Because we didn't lose it. We still have it. So if you can leave us comments before we film our next episode. Which we might be filming it right after this one. Yeah. So it might not help us. But maybe we don't. So just leave comments either way. Because it helps other people watching this video in the future. We'll see us ask those questions about the crude men here. Then check the comments below. Maybe there, by then there's some answer from the developer or an FAQ entry or somebody just knows how it works uh, and can leave answers below. Timestamp it if you can. Any of the rules corrections to help us easily get back to the video, especially if it's months in the future or years. It happens on our Gloomhaven series. People ask us questions and it's years later and they don't timestamp it. I don't know what you're asking in like a three-hour video. Mm -hmm. No clue. Um, but anyways, thank you for everyone following along. That's it for this episode and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.